Today I'm going to take all the alcohol out of this box of wine. Originally I wanted to do this with beer, but the foaming got out of control, so I settled on wine. In any case, this nasty little Boda box is 500 milliliters at 13.5% ABV, which means that theoretically there's about 67.5 milliliters of pure ethanol in this bottle. To get the ethanol out, I set this up for a fractional distillation along with an addition funnel where I pour the remainder of the wine that didn't comfortably fit in the flask. Ethanol boils at a much lower temperature than water, and if you look closely, you can watch the vapor front of ethanol as it travels up the fractional column and down the condenser. While that's going on, I'll try to explain what's happening here. Now, water and ethanol are miscible, and when you boil a mixture of miscible solvents, they both evaporate together in accordance with Dalton's law and Raoult's law. That said, the boiling point of the entire mixture decreases as the proportion of alcohol in it increases. That said, if I keep distilling over and over again, I'm going to get a stronger alcoholic solution each time with a lower boiling point than the previous solution. Doing this in practice though would suck, and instead we use a fractional column where the vapor pressure of ethanol increases the further up the column you go. This works due to the glass spikes in the column which condense water back into the flask all the way up the column. This takes advantage of Dalton's law and allows the absolute proportion of ethanol vapor to increase up the column. Anyway, that's about as much on fractional distillation as I want to cover in this video. If you want to learn more, you can leave a comment and I'll try to do a whole video on it. The point here is that due to my fractioning column, my ethanol distillate is going to be about 98% azeotropic. Because of this 98% azeotrope, there's actually no way to get ethanol that's purer than 98% by using distillation. On that note, here's my 98% ethanol and my now alcohol-free wine that was left over. I also want to note that alcohol-free wine smells really, really weird, kind of just like old grape juice, which I guess makes sense. Anyway, to get my ethanol to 100%, I need to use what are called molecular sieves. These are basically little dry clay pellets that will suck up the remaining 2% water and leave me with pure 100% absolute ethanol. Now, normally I just leave the molecular sieves in there with the ethanol, but for the sake of this video, I decide to filter them off, and this is where I lose most of my product. In the end though, I'm left with just about 50 milliliters of pure 100% ethanol, which is about a 74% recovery. The calculated density also indicates extremely high purity, and that is how you get alcohol out of wine. 